I'm a First Amendment absolutist. I believe in only two things completely, the First Amendment and boobs. What? And so once they made the decision that they were Wait, not going to allow a conservative you believe in the First Amendment non sports related and... commentary, they could <laughs> I just want to make sure I heard you correctly as a woman anchoring the show. Did you say, what did you just say? You yeah. believe in the First Amendment and BWOBS? Boobs. <laughs> Two things that have only never let me down in this entire country's history, the First Amendment and boobs. <laughs> So those are the only two things I believe in absolutely in the country. And so I don't think Jamel Hill should be fired. You ain't never getting boobs again. Is he a news anchor or is he some freaking fool? I don't know. This guy, oh my God. <sighs> I really hope he never sees another pair of boobs again. Coming up in 10 minutes, we've got uh, people from the Alberta Masters Games coming in, talking about how if you're over 30, you compete in, in a wide range of sports in Alberta for the first time. They brought a pickleball. They brought a pickleball. Oh, and, and a racket. Oh. We should play some pickleball. Well, they just brought one. So oh. we would have to throw it at each other, but I'm in. Okay. You can play with yourself. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that was awkward. The connection between those anchors was awkward and totally fake. It's time now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about... Um, what? Canoodle? We canoodling. What? <laughs> oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Astrid, you're lucky there's a producer in my ear. I would have I would have carried that on and on. You know what? You just made the blooper reel. Good oh, job, Andrew. Classic, classic. Take it away. Get me off camera. Oh, this is too much fun. Uh, all right, let's completely switch gears. Something much more important. Uh, this show okay, is your skycast for tonight. Oh my We're not gonna be canoodling. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <sighs> know your vocabulary. Don't use a new word unless you know what it really means. <laughs> That's right, I'm here at the Loveless Biomedical Research Institute. We're expecting to deli to de 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 delivery to happen any hour now. <laughs> that is me when I'm reading something. <laughs> de 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 delivery. Some wet roads, but it's above. This is why you go to school, kids, by the way. Because you don't spell roads with an E. <laughs> <laughs> you don't? Who did that? <laughs> Who's calling up? Wow. Right. Are you pleading the fifth on that one? There's no one else. On TV, you're like. In terms? Oh gosh. All right. Dude, calling them out on live TV, that's a little bit awkward. That's a little yeah, embarrassing. But like, if people call them out and they don't do anything about it, like, I think he kind of saved the situation by just making fun, fun out of it. And finally, tonight, for years, scientists have been wondering why wombat poop is cube shaped, and now they think they have the answer. The marsupial found in Australia and Tasmania is renowned for having cube-shaped poop. Turns out that the wombat intestine dries and squeezes it into its distinctive shape, including well-formed edges. It is thought that the ability to create cubes in a soft tube may mean future developments for manufacturing. So in the animal world, this makes the wombat number one and number two. <laughs> that is all the time we have for <laughs> From all of us here at CTV News, thank you for watching and have a good night. Can you imagine, though, you went to school, you did internships, you did all this stuff to climb the corporate ladder and get to being a news anchor, and you're reporting on the shape of a wombat poop. It's going to be areas of drist and mizzle. Uh, drist and, what am I saying here? Mist and drizzle. I literally combined both. Here's some other great town names. Latitz. Oh, it's Linitz. <laughs> Linitz. <laughs> I'm going to Latitz, baby. <laughs> oh, you know who's going to Latitz? The guy who has never been let down by poops. <laughs>
cute little chubby man from hell. <laughs> like, oh, oh my God. Um, you're from Edmonton. Yes. This is an event that I always enjoy, and this was on my desk this morning, my my annual ticket to King of the Kubasa. Okay. It's it's a, a sausage competition that I judge. Oh, in like sausage eating? Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> what? King, King of the Kubasa and uh, local <laughs> sausage makers, they all make their best and they enter it. Tickets are only $25. It's for charity and uh, you can get uh, tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Talk to me, baby. <laughs> I'm going blind from this sweet, sweet craving. Whoa, let's lose our minds and go crazy, crazy. Yay! Wow, cool. Oh. I keep on hoping to <laughs> escape by the ocean. This Walk guy's good. Me, baby. I'll be Diddy, you be Naomi. Whoa, let's lose <laughs> our minds and go crazy, crazy. I love that he's doing Simon. Okay, so if you saw Simon smiling, guys, I feel like anytime someone directs their audition to something about Simon, and if it's a good way, he's gonna love it. And how old are you? I'm 25, I'll turn 26 in two hours. In two hours. Happy birthday! Okay, but wait, before we actually watch his act, I have to say, wouldn't it be absolutely hilarious if he's horrible at this, and then on his birthday, technically it's his birthday, guys, he gets rejected. That would be a birthday to remember. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta okay. tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to oh, be so yeah. negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. Dang, I walked at my apartment dang. one time, right? I walked in my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted? Let's see. Right? Like, who's that? Oh, yeah. Like, what the heck? That's actually true. Who would be counting if you were in an accident and your car flipped eight times? Are you literally standing there scared for your life, trapped in your car, being like, one, two, three, four? <laughs> Calm when their car's flipping in the air. Ah! One! <laughs> like, it's going yes! Out. Okay, he was all right. He was all right. I had some laughs. You are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. What? Okay, now all you have to do. Oh my God. Oh my god. All you have to do is keep looking out there. All right, let me. Guys, do you know who he looks like? If you've ever seen the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey, when he puts that like green monster mask and he has the big giant butt chin, that's what he looks like right now. Butch. Let's do it. Something macho. Butch. Because of the okay? chin. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it how shocked me. It shocked me. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how this mask mouth thing is working because obviously Howie doesn't know how and when to move his mouth. So I'm thinking the ventriloquist, this is some kind of mechanism in this thing that whenever the ventriloquist is talking, he's probably like pressing some kind of switch that's behind, you know, in his hand behind Howie's back to kind of move the mouth. Now stop touching me. <laughs> what? Get away. What? Stop touching me. What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away. Okay. All right. All right. Is that far enough? Perfect. Hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I was right. He's got a controller. I was right. He has a controller in his hand. Controller. He can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. <laughs> You want to be an act? Yes, you go and judge me. 
You want me to judge you? Yes, go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, <laughs> if you insist, uh, it's great to be here. Okay, so um, I can't believe it. <laughs> America's Got Talent. Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, is he literally gonna make Howie dance? Oh my God, I want to see this. I want to see how we get up and dance. I'm going to show you my twerking. Twerking? Are you kidding me? Does Howie even know how to twerk? Oh my God. Like he's actually doing it. Oh my God. Okay, so I just have to say that even if this guy doesn't have, even if he didn't have good ventriloquist skills, he deserves to go on to the next level just for the fact that he's getting Howie Mandel to do all of this ridiculous crap on stage for him. That's, that's the award in itself. I'm gonna do some Irish no. dancing. <laughs> Look at how he's like. Really? Don't make me freaking do this. Naked. Naked? I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So, uh, oh. When you're ready, the stage oh my is God. yours. Cue the music. the music. Oh my God, and how is he doing it, guys? What a trooper. Howie is a trooper. <laughs> I freaking love it. The best. Eating. Oh my. What is going on? What's she gonna do? Is she dancing? Like... <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, is this a strip tease? Oh! No. What is going on? That's her talent, literally just taking off her clothes. Okay, she's giving kisses to the audience. Does that mean the show is done? I, I, I mean, sincerely, I hope the show is done. I hope she doesn't. Continue. <laughs> Imagine they'd have to like cut to commercials. We cannot show this as a PG channel. I mean, would more clothes come off? Would your clothes come off if you keep going? Oh yes, yes. absolutely. I still don't understand what the act was. Guys, I'm so dumbfounded.